we're going to use Excel to generate a plot. And uh, if you just first of all open up Excel and select the blank workbook, and then I'm going to make this just a little bit uh, bigger here, just for demonstration purposes. I'll put time in here. First of all, let's just say I have uh, increments of 0 0.1. Go ahead and select those first two and then drag down this box. Excel will see that um, you know you want to increment by 0.1. Okay, and then uh, let's just do sine of time, and um, then that's going to be sine of this A2 cell, put equal sine A2, and then uh, if you just double click this box off to the right, it'll fill down uh, the sine of those times, and then the cosine of time as well. Okay, so let's do the cosine, and there we go, we have um, these two. And then what I'm gonna do is uh, select this region. One, one way that you can uh, do that is just with the mouse, just go ahead and select down. One of the reasons why I don't like this is because sometimes you go past it and then have to go back. It's kind of like a stranger dance trying to figure out how to get this uh, data in there. So if you just select A1 and then hold down the shift key and um, then hit the right arrow twice you'll get um, A, B, and C columns in the first row uh, one. And then if you hit the down arrow, you'll see that you get more uh, data. But let's say you have 10,000 lines. It can be hard to select that. And so you just hold down the shift and control key and then hit the down arrow. And then you get all the data uh, that you need. Okay, and then what I wanna do is go ahead and insert. And there's a number of plots here. You know, there's a lot of different plots that you can select, you have recommended. Uh, one of the things that we typically use are scatter charts. Okay, so let me go ahead and just put in a, uh, a scatter um, chart. And you could either have that as a separate uh, tab there or just on the page where your data is. Okay, so um, now let's just go ahead and, uh, and modify this a little bit so that um, we get the right kind of plot that uh, we want. So. Uh, one recommended thing for for those who are colorblind, for example, is you want to make the plot easy for them to see as well. And so if you select one of them, um, let's say we want to format uh, the data series. Um, so just right click it and format data series. And then uh, we can change a couple things about this. Okay, so maybe include a line in there as well. So in black and white, it um, you can tell the difference between the two, okay? And then another thing to keep in mind is, um, you know, for, uh, for journal publications is you don't want the title in there. You'll include that as a caption uh, later, okay? Um, and then you can also adjust where you put the legend or change that as well. Okay, now if you wanna change the font size, okay? then uh, go ahead and just uh, select the plot and go over to home. And let's see, I, I'm not selecting the right area here. Um, if you're selecting just this internal graph, you won't see the options for font. So you have to select off of that and then you can come back over here and you can just increase uh, the size of the font. Okay, it makes it a little bit easier uh, to see. Now let's say we wanna change the um, the limits of where it's it's plotted. Um, go ahead and just double click that. Um, let's go ahead and double click this. And let's see, text options. Um, I well, Let's see if we can find this. Okay, there it is. Double clicked it. Uh, the maximum here. And uh, this is, these are some of the access options. Okay, so let's say I only wanted to go up to uh, three, even though the data extends beyond that. Okay, and then we can also change the, uh, the minor and major uh, increments there on the, uh, on the units. Okay, so we could change the major, let's say we wanted those as one. Okay, and then um, we could also do the same thing on the y-axis as well. Okay, so let me go axis options and uh, maybe go down to negative one and then positive um, one, for example, 
and uh, okay so it's, it might be just a little bit easier to to read you may have to move your um, legend over to another spot for example okay and then to export this out um, you know, as I mentioned I don't uh, recommend this for like journal um, publications um, if you're in a scientific community uh, but it's good for like PowerPoint for example so you can just copy this plot now and um, go into for example PowerPoint open up a new blank presentation and um, okay so let me just create a, a new slide here and I'll delete this okay so you can paste this in and then it allows you to paste it in um, in a couple different ways keep source formatting uh, use destination theme uh, use destination theme and, and link uh, theme and link data so you can edit it within the PowerPoint um, or on the right hand side this is just a picture it's good so it's gonna, not going to include some of the data um, but it isn't maybe gonna look as good um, if you have to print it out uh, it's gonna store it maybe as as a um, PNG uh, type quality now you can see that um, this has the uh, border around it so you may not want um, the border maybe you want to get rid of that as well so let's go back into our plot okay so um, maybe we don't want a border around our plot okay that kind of looks a little bit clunky um, in the PowerPoint okay so let's go ahead and try this again okay so no border it looks just a little bit better and as I mentioned if you just keep the um, you know the default option then uh, you're gonna be able to adjust things like um, you know the font size and other things directly from the PowerPoint okay so that's just a little uh, tip on on creating a uh, one for PowerPoint um, you can also embed this um, into something like LaTeX or other uh, documents um, you know if you want to just include it into a Word document um, you can do that but a lot of the scientific papers are uh, LaTeX and you can actually include a PDF so um, if you want to just uh, print this figure for example you can export um, okay so let's see if we can find and I'm just going to do control P here okay so just print the selected chart for example and then it will export it as a PDF and then you can include that PDF into your LaTeX uh, document okay so um, that concludes um, this tutorial um, there will be some additional tutorials here at the chemical engineering uh, introduction to programming site um, where we have the Excel and VBA. You'll see this same demo in MATLAB and then also the same demo in Python as well.